And now we're back. Hi, this is Susan Hamilton, and you've been listening to the Afi Business Show. We're back after a short break. I'm sharing Charlene Johns with you and our recent uh, partnership to make sure that we are sharing all of the resources of Battle Buddy Info through the Afi Business Magazine in a two-page two spread with live links to the resources that uh, you may very well find yourself needing. We say this because the Afi Business Show and Magazine is all about. Uh, building up the business to business platform, improving American business influence locally, nationally, and abroad. And that includes the 80% of us that are uh, family owned businesses of nine employees or less. That means that we are building our family, building our businesses while we're raising our kids, taking care of our seniors, uh, impacted greatly by a veteran uh, that is bringing some excellence to the table, or we're uh, concerned because that maybe they're mm -hmm. not integrating very well, uh, or maybe they've had an injury after deployment. And we need to make sure that we are uh, giving them the resources that they need because we all know that right now counting on the levels of garbage you have to wade through with uh, bureaucracy today, we, we just don't believe we have to be dependent on them. We believe that if we band together and and share this with the, um, the maximum amount of people, that's you, share it with you, then you'll have the resources that you need. And we ask you, friends, if you know someone who needs this information, share it. If this is not you, you chances are you know somebody who needs to know where they can find resources that they don't have to jump through hoops to find. They don't have to wait two weeks after applying to find out they didn't really uh, fit the bill or qualify. Uh, so what we're doing with, with uh, Battle Buddy Info is we have decided that every uh, three months we are going to be sharing a new batch of the resources of over 500 vetted resources on battle-buddy.info uh, that, that Charlene Johns has, has just poured her heart into making sure these resources go directly to the veteran or the caregiver in a responsible quick manner. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, again, we said earlier that there's a lot of alternative, uh, unique organizations that are out there to, to provide assistance uh, aside from the VA, aside from, uh, you know, some organizations that are springing up under the Department of Defense. So, um, the organizations on Battle Buddy Info are national. We do also have local um, resources listed that are localized resources. We don't have a map on there because we try to really put um, organizations that aren't limited to ge geography or where the veteran in particular is located. We want organizations that can, that can assist uh, veterans across the country. We get all kinds of um, Request thinking that Battle Buddy is the resource. We're the resource for resources. So while we can help you, you know, look for resources or we can quickly identify because, again, I have vetted all these and read all their content. So I, and I have been blessed with a very good memory. So I can tell you, oh, okay, there's an organization in Kalamazoo that does this that might be able to help you. The other, um, uh, area that we want to that we look at is really making sure that those resources get to veterans to help stem the tide of this catastrophic number of suicides because when you think there's a whole generation look military people they have lots of kids and um, so if you think that there's all these young post 9-11 veterans coming back that have children that have um, that had spouses, and I'm not even speaking of the catastrophically injured veterans. I'm talking about just veterans, combat, combat veterans. So they've got uh, these spouses. A lot of times they're young. A lot of times they have young kids. Well, um, they come back. There's anger management issues. There's all kind of transitioning issues that they ha that they're facing, and 90 percent of combat veteran marriages end in divorce. So that's quite a bit higher than um, than the national statistic. So 90%, so now you've got 
of their military dependents living in broken families. They're seeing not only how uh, their parent was different when they came back, but they're also seeing how society in general treated them. They're seeing how the government treated them. They're seeing oftentimes, unfortunately, the filterless um, uh, expositions of their military parent go off on uh, civilian issues, their military issues, or government issues, or how they've been treated. So then you've got this whole generation of military dependents that are being, uh, that are seeing and being adversely affected on how their their parent was treated. So it, it, it sounds like term, a terrible cycle. It really does. It sounds like something that um, unless that cycle is broken. They, yeah. they, they could really spiral into it's, that. It, yeah. it, it's, it's affecting not just, uh, again, not just the, our combat veterans, but it's also affecting their families. It's also affecting mm -hmm. their spouses. It's also affecting their parents. And all of these people uh, are our neighbors. They're our uh, community members. They're absolutely. our neighbors. They, um, we are shopping with them all the time. We, we don't even know when we're passing these, th these people. And we just need to really be just to recognize you know humanity yeah we really do. and and I think that because of how the Vietnam I, I uh, am in contact and connected to a lot of Vietnam era veterans but and so I think we had a heightened sense of awareness of how the Vietnam era veterans were were treated and that was horrendous and and they're it, it's inexcusable because these men were conscripted. They didn't sign up to go to war many times. There was a draft in place. However, um, when they came back and they faced this just horrible treatment by the civilian community, they didn't have any expectations. Nobody was gonna, I mean, they didn't have any expectations of getting help, receiving help, of get, being honored, of dignity or anything. So they knew we're on our own. Now there's kind of this false sense of um, assistance created almost. The assistance really is there, but uh, because the combat veterans were 80% National Guard, that means they weren't in a military con community, in a military, uh, at a military base where everybody's talking to each other, wives are saying, oh, these people help me. Oh, I got help here. Oh, I did this. Oh, I was able to do that. Yeah. They're going it's, it's, back. That's a whole new conversation for me. Yeah, they're that's going very back. They're going back to their little towns in their, you know, small populated states. They did an honorable thing. They served in the country. They served in the National Guard. They were deployed. They came back. And they came back to not knowing what was going on, which was really the foundation of how we got started was a woman whose husband was in the National Guard who was wounded was talking to someone who was in her husband's unit and she said, oh, my husband's having nightmares, he's having headaches, he's having, you know, these problems and that. And she said, well, um, honey, that's, you know, PTSD. Why don't you connect with these people? And she said, well, how would I have even known that this existed? So because of this caregiver's tireless efforts to research um, resources that she could then get out to her National Guard unit friends, uh, that's the initial list that we started with. Yeah, that's a fascinating So story. Yay. Uh, Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yay. It, Yay. So these things are, again, people that they want to say, these caregivers, they say, man, I don't want anybody to experience what I went through. I want people to know there's help out there. There's people that are um, willing to help. The money is there. The money is in the private sector. People are generous. The American public is, uh, for all of our faults and foibles, they are one of the most generous people on the face of the, earth. the earth. Yeah, in the world. And um, so we really try to get that communicated, not just to um, our military, our returning military. We really try to get it communicated to businesses, to um, other nonprofits that say, "Hey, look, we can work together, and we can, we can change the world." You really can, because there is, you know, a, um, a, a downside of, of poor integration back into the community. 
can be uh, addictions, criminal court, incarceration, homelessness. Those absolutely. are very real situations, as well. and they they absolutely impact us. And and friends, I'd like you to really consider when when we think about current legislation locking everybody up and giving them no way to get back out, and 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 in a positive way, mm -hmm. in a capable way, when those ways exist, that's what drives me nuts. Yeah. If they exist and we don't use them, who's the pro who, where does the fault lie for the broken brokenness in our community? We don't have to have this out here. We we don't. We we can solve it. We can, th these programs are already in place in lots of locations. And what I see is if they, if they're not work if they're not 100% uh, used, there are there's probably some evil behind that. But there's also the lack of time and money. Uh, for and, and hands. We've got to have hands in these programs. Uh, so that's another thing I'd like to encourage you about, friends, is all of these resources, uh, many of them are volunteer-based. Absolutely. You know, they, don't, they depend on hands and money to keep them going. Um, and, you know, we may not all have time, we may not all have money, but most of us have time most, or money. <laughs> you know, One get, or the get, other. get something out there, and if you are doing, if you're really excelling at business the way that you can, um, you will have an excess of both. And that's what we want to share with you also through the Offbeat Business Show, are those business tips that really help you get to that spot in your life in business that you say, wow, I see a need, and now I'm no longer looking at that with sympathy, I'm looking at it with empathy, and I can do something, so I will. And, uh, you know, we believe that can happen. That's so exciting. Uh, so look for us, and, and friends, I want to ask you uh, to share that information on social media. Make sure that you get to uh, you sign up for the Offbeat Business Magazine to get it in your own inbox, where you've got access to all the articles. You know, we support veterans' issues four times a year because we think this is very, very important that if those family-owned businesses, when they're cooking out, you know that probably three quarters of families looking at their cell phone or their iPad or their computer during that time and we want to be in that space sharing the very best things that we can share with those communities and if with that resource is just dangling in front of somebody that needs it that's awesome Absolutely. that's awesome so you can help us by sharing that information and making sure you're connected to us you know the type of information we're sharing out and then get to the ba the the rear of the Happy Business Magazine every single month and share those resources with your social media. Share them on LinkedIn, share them on Twitter, share them on Google+, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and let them know about this video. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and make sure you're interacting with us on Facebook and connecting. So, Charlene, would you uh, tell our audience w about your Facebook page? Uh, we have a Facebook page. It's Battle Buddy Info. Uh, we post all kinds of uh, information, resource sites. We post resources on our Twitter. Um, we're very highly um, proactive in getting out, mili uh, on, especially on Military Monday, organizations that are helping veterans. So we put, put, publish a long list. Our Twitter account is Battle Buddy Info. We publish a long list, again, of uh, organizations that specifically help military. So every Monday you can tune in and see Here's all the people that are helping uh, and doing a good job at, do, at it. And Charlene, if any of, of our audience wants to reach out to you and, and help you do what you're doing, how do they reach you? Uh, they can reach us at battle dash or battle buddy at sbcglobal.info, um, sbcglobal.net, or they can always connect to to us through our website battle dash buddy.info, and there's a contact us page. They can also see the history of Battle Buddy. They can see uh, information about our military liaison, our caregiver director, and uh, all of the people that are associated. So, And if you didn't have a pen and you didn't catch that... It's the, at the bottom. The, the, it's at the bottom of this video, and uh, you'll also find it associated with everywhere that you hear this recording. Uh, and, uh, of course, in the two-page spread of the Offbeat Business Magazine, where we are out to share and support everything you're doing, Charmin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Susan. Uh, Appreciate it. Friends, this has been the Offbeat Business Show. Know that you can find our lineup, our replays, and the magazine, so you can sign up for your very own and learn uh, throughout the years. I don't imagine our relationships going anywhere. We're just going to get bigger, and we're just going to get stronger. Okay, so whenever you want this information, you can find it at offbeatbusiness.com. This is Susan Hamilton. You've been listening to the Offbeat Business Show.